A new NBA season is upon us, which means another NBA 2K game. One of the most successful sports game franchises has to constantly live up to the expectation gamers place on it, and they always pass with flying colors. Will 2K17 be more the same? Let's find out. Sports Gamers Online is the number one source for the sports gamer. You get Kevin Harlan and Greg Anthony returning as two of the members of the 2K17 announced team. But there's a third chair between the crew of Clark Kellogg, Chris Webber, Steve Smith, Doris Burke, and Brent Barrett. And they've added more player-specific dialogue to the commentary to strengthen the immersion level. And TNT's own David Aldridge is now the sideline reporter for 2K17. Further submitting the whole NBA on TNT vibe the series has been steering toward. There's new stat overlays, a new scoreboard, pre-game cutscenes, and halftime entertainment to make you feel like you're watching the NBA presentation. And last but not least, the graphics. It's amazing how each year 2K pushes the boundary of realism. Like look at this, that is Ben Simmons, it's crazy. And plenty of other familiar faces got updated face scans as well. And some players benefited from this more than others. On the court, there's a new shot meter this year that you will use to shoot jumpers, layups, and free throws. Yes, there is a visible meter to complete your layups now, adding another thing to think about as you're driving to the hole. When you're driving or rolling to the hoop, if you run into a defender, the new collision animation will pretty much nerf any forward momentum you have. But if you do get into the lane clean, the host of new double clutch layup animations are nice to look at and effective against incoming shot blockers. Dribble moves are harder to pull off as you have to chain moves together with the stick instead of pushing up and triggering a size up move like in years past. So they feel a lot more earned. But the most important improvement I found is the computer AI as a whole. When guarding the computer they will attempt and a lot of the time successfully to take you off the dribble. And with that chain together step back jumpers and pull ups as if you're playing a real human. And when they drive, they will finish completely or pull up for the shot depending on how close you were to them at that point. And on defense, the players are a lot more alive. Help defense comes over at appropriate times to respond to offensive threats. And if the ball is passed anywhere in the defender's area, he will attempt to deflect it, eliminating the easy passes defenders wouldn't react to or the ones that went right through our hands last year. In my career mode, you begin by selecting your position and the type of player you want to be at that position. And from there, depending on your height and weight determines how high certain stats can be. So a 290 pound player, max speed won't be as fast as say a 245 pounder. You start off as the top high schooler in the country where you can select from 10 real colleges to take your talents. And considering 2K hasn't made a college game in nearly 10 years, you wouldn't know it. They nailed the college atmosphere in this short appearance. The story actually gets you attached to the people involved in your My Player's life. Thinking about going pro next year. <laughs> and with the addition of the Olympic team in the game, you might get a call from a certain somebody inviting you to represent your country. The one surprise I had was it jumps you right into the draft after the Olympics are done and everything. I would assume there would be a few cutscenes leading up to it. But before you can blink, the Sixers are selected Ben Simmons number one. Once you've been drafted, you're shown your My Career Player Hub, where from here you can do a bunch of activities. Continue the day-to-day -day grind of being an NBA player going to practices. You can answer your text messages from a variety of different characters, or skip it all to jump right to your first NBA game on your way to becoming an NBA superstar. In my league, you can add up to six expansion teams that you can create yourself or are pre-built for you to the NBA. And from there, you control one or every team to run your league. A nice addition for those who do control every team is a seamless transition to switch between teams in the menu. And they've added the ability for franchises to retire players' jerseys, adding a lot more depth to the mode. Now, the negatives in 2K17 aren't backbreaking, although some are annoying. The muscularly challenged NBA players are way too skinny. Kevin Durant's player model takes Stickman to a whole new level. My team doesn't have their version of Madden's Draft Champions mode. The new shot meter is easy to get green or close to it. I wish it was a bit harder. And lastly, the substitution system, which is beyond clunky. It will devote your entire attention away from the action as you attempt to sub in somebody during live play. 
And while I like the ability to change your sets and strategy during timeouts, much like the substitution system, the way it's presented is way too awkward and inefficient. In the end though, NBA 2K series is the gold standard of basketball simulations. From the gameplay, presentation, and various modes to play, if you're a basketball fan, there is something in this game for you. The amount of customization is endless, and despite the numerous basketball games made over the years, there's a reason only 2K remains. So Sports Gamers Online gives NBA 2K17 a 9.5 out of 10.